Hey everyone, what's going on? I know it's pretty much old news by now, but I want to follow up on some of these recent videos that I have posted. It had a lot to do with China and the Houston Rockets and a bunch of interrelated themes. And if you're new to the channel, please check out some links in the description and you'll understand more of what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about esoteric knowledge of the practices of gematria the you know which is the language of coding letters into numbers and a bunch of other pieces of esoteric knowledge and there's a major theme that i've been following with the houston rockets and how it syncs up to china for a number of years but last summer i talked about how this nba season was all scripted to Kobe Bryant and Kobe Bryant when he tore his Achilles and much of that had to do with the Houston Rockets and it had to do with Dwight Howard the basketball player who was on the Los Angeles Lakers when Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles and then you know a month after I made this video Dwight Howard just so happens to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers on Kobe Bryant's 41st birthday of all days and of course in the language of Gematria, Kobe Bryant equals 41, just show you really quick. Kobe Bryant, his name equals 41, he died 157 days before his, or after his birthday. Michael Jordan equals 113, Los Angeles Lakers also equal 58. The reason that Dwight Howard came to the Lakers, no, it's Dwight Howard 58, he came there because DeMarcus Cousins, his name equals 58. He got injured, and then the Lakers had to get another big man. And they, you know, I'd even talked about Dwight Howard before that. And, you know, Dwight Howard ends up going back to the Lakers, and then Kobe Bryant dies, and Joanne Buss died, who was the former wife of Jerry Buss. And just before Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles, Jerry Buss also died. So Dwight Howard, seemingly to me, was the curse of the Los Angeles Lakers. Plus, the bubble is being played in Orlando, and Dwight Howard was originally from the Orlando Magic, but, you know, and the Houston Rockets, the last time they won the NBA Finals, they beat Shaquille O'Neal's uh, Orlando Magic team, but the Lakers coach, Frank Vogel, is also the former coach of the Orlando Magic, and he came to the Lakers just after Magic Johnson resigned. So, there's this major narrative going on, and like I said, for over a year, I've been documenting about how this season would be scripted to Kobe Bryant, and then he ends up supposedly dying in a, a helicopter crash that crashed after 41 minutes after taking off, and the, what was it, the pilot's name, his name equaled 41 in Gematria, and Kobe Bryant equals 41, and the 13th prime number is 41, his daughter was 13 years old, LA equals 13. And so on. This big narrative. I just want to show you what I even wrote in here. Scripted 2019 NBA offseason to Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant, King. And then after Dwight Howard signed, I talked about him going to the Lakers on Kobe Bryant's birthday. And I also pointed out the importance of Houston and China. And what's interesting about Kobe Bryant's birthday is the Chinese-American basketball player Jeremy Lin just so happens to share a birthday with Kobe Bryant. And he was on the Toronto Raptors last year who won the NBA Finals. And after that was done and over with, he he said that he had hit rock bottom and nobody in the NBA wanted him. And then a few days later, we got a story about Dwight Howard hitting rock bottom. And that was right after The Rock was in the news for getting married, right? And The Rock and wrestling has the wrestling move called The Rock Bottom. And then... His father ends up dying just before Kobe Bryant, and his father died on Shane McMahon's birthday, and Shane McMahon was in a helicopter crash just before WrestleMania 34. And if you go back and watch my Kobe Bryant death video, it's absolutely scripted, you know, to the number 34 and so on. That's why Kobe tore his Achilles at the age of 34, and he scored 34 points in that game, and he came back 34 weeks later, and he played the Toronto Raptors, the team that he scored 81 points against. And so on. Just before he retired, he lost to the Golden State Warriors by 34 points. That's why last year, I said I think LeBron James is going to get injured 
because he was going to be 34 years old, and then he ended up getting injured on the 34th game of the season against the Golden State Warriors, the team that Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles against. But Dwight Howard turned 34 years old this year, and then Kobe Bryant supposedly dies in a helicopter crash. Not to mention Kobe also died on the third month and fourth day of the NBA season, and a whole lot more. You know, Shaquille O'Neal, who wore the number 34, Kobe died 41 days before Shaq's birthday. You know, it's just, Shaq won his last championship when he was age 34. All kinds of stuff. That rock bottom story about Dwight Howard, it came 34 days. Was it 34 days or three months and four days, I think it was. Three months and four days before his 34th birthday. So, I'm just pointing out, I've been following this narrative for a really long time. It's synced up to the Rockets because after Kobe tore his Achilles, Dwight Howard left and started playing with the Houston Rockets, and then Mike D'Antoni, the coach of the Los Angeles, was the coach of the Los Angeles Lakers when Kobe tore his Achilles, and then he later left and started coaching the Houston Rockets, and Jeremy Lin also was a Houston Rocket player, and so on. And Jeremy Lin's Chinese-American, he left uh, he left this year to go play basketball in China, and I brought up Yao Ming, and how Yao Ming is famous for the Houston Rockets, and the Houston Rockets were the first team to play in China, and they played against the Sacramento Kings, and how it synced up to LeBron James, and how Luke Walton resigned and then became the coach of the Sacramento Kings, and then Kobe gets buried in Corona Del Mar, just after coronavirus, and Corona means crown, and so on, right? So, there's a humongous King narrative, and I wasn't sure, it just... Lots of these interrelated things made me start thinking that possibly it was going to let the Houston Rockets upset, you know, LeBron James or so on. You know, I don't know. Just There was just a part of me I didn't know exactly what the whole script is for. But it it makes sense, you know, because China, what I talked about with all the China stuff back in the day was that China equals 35 and Gematria, and it was synced up to the space theme and NASA equals 35. And King James equals 35, and he's 35 years old. And, um, uh, can't even remember. NASA, China, King James, you know, all of this 35 stuff synced up to it, too. So, we later got the stuff involving South Park, right? Remember earlier this year, or it was in 2019? There was an episode of South Park called Mexican Joker that came out in September. And this was just before the Joker movie had came out. And then two days before the Joker movie came out, the next episode of South Park just so happened to be called Banned in China. And they made fun of China, and then they got banned from China. And they said, fuck China, right? If you watch that. Then the next episode was about how Cartman didn't want to get his vaccines. Think about that with coronavirus, how coronavirus supposedly came from China. And every time that Cartman was going to get a vaccine, he would turn into a pig and he, like, the doctor couldn't catch him. So they had to hire this pig catcher. And the whole joke is that it was a Chinese pig year last year. And if you don't understand Chinese astrology, you would never understand that that's what they were actually doing in that South Park episode. And they called it shots. And then, you know, in November, we got a story about the bubonic plague hitting China again, and then all of a sudden we get coronavirus that supposedly comes out of China. You know, Kobe Bryant, once again, you know, buried in Corona Del Mar and much, much more. But when that Joker movie came out, the general manager of the Houston Rockets, Daryl Morey, he just so happened to tweet about China, right? And it caused this big old controversy, and then China cut their ties with the Houston Rockets. And the reason that they did that was because, if you remember, the Batman shooting that happened in 2012, which was 34 days before Kobe Bryant's 34th birthday, which was also the next year when he tore his Achilles tendon. That was also the same year that Neil Armstrong, the first guy to walk on the moon, had died. And he died one month and five days after the anniversary of walking on the moon, and the word moon equals 15, and the word moon also equals 51, and this year's the 51st anniversary of the moon landing, and that's why they, they rescheduled the SpaceX launch earlier in, in May, because they made it 51 days before the 51st anniversary, 
Of course, the word conspiracy equals 51, and area 51, and tinfoil hat 51, and so on, you know. 9-11, 51, JFK, 51, so. Just pointing all this out. And think about Mexican Joker, right? South Park had Mexican Joker. Think about Donald Trump and the wall and so on. And when Donald Trump had the 34-day shutdown over, well, they say 35 now, but it's actually really only 34. But... You know, think about that. But when they when they had that shut down, China supposedly landed on the dark side of the moon. And then on that same day that China supposedly landed on the dark side of the moon, Steph Curry wore moon shoes to the Golden State Warriors Houston Rockets game because earlier in the year Steph Curry had said that he thought the moon landing was fake on some podcast, right? And of course that podcast it equaled fifty eight in Gematria. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but you know, Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant, so on. But I'm bringing all this up because China is important to the wall symbolism, right? The Great Wall of China, right? Think about Donald Trump wanting to build the wall. And in relation to South Park, South Park's out of Colorado, right? And remember, just after the China stuff, Donald Trump, was in the, they had Donald Trump on the news saying he was we're gonna build a, a wall around Colorado and they called it the Great Wall of Colorado, you know. And now the Rockets get knocked out and then now the Lakers are playing the Denver Nuggets and the Denver Nuggets used to be called the Denver Rockets. And of course Dwight Howard when he got originally traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, it was in this big multi trade that had to do with the Denver Nuggets as well. Also, too, I forgot to mention in the South Park video, so you have the Mexican Joker, and then the next episode is banned in China, then Daryl Morey tweets on the same day as the Joker movie that came out, and the Joker movie actually happened on the anniversary of the moon landing as well in Aurora, Colorado, right? But the night of that shooting, they aired the trailer for the movie called Skyfall, the James Bond movie, and... In that trailer, or in the preview of that movie that was at the Aurora Batman shooting, they had a giant building that said Aurora on it. And that just so happened to be the Aurora Plaza in China. Let me see if I can find a picture of it here. Possibly not. Well, I'll find it here really quick. I just want to show you, just to point this out. And you can watch that other video, but in the preview of the movie Skyfall, that was at the midnight showing of this Batman movie, they flashed Aurora on this building in China. It's the Aurora Plaza. And what are the odds that a building would say Aurora on it, and then Aurora, Colorado, supposedly gets shot up, and so on, you know. And what's even funnier to me is that the... The South Park episode, the South Park episode where they get banned in China, on the airplane they just so happen to have James Harden and LeBron James. Look at this, James Harden, right here, LeBron James, and I wondered who this player was, and it just so happens to be Will Barton, and oddly enough, Will Barton, this episode came out three months and four days. Before Will Barton's birthday, right? Three months, four days, this number synced up to Kobe Bryant. But Will Barton, Denver Nugget player, right? And I thought, that's pretty interesting. You know, the Denver Nugget player, the Rockets get knocked out. Now the Lakers are playing the Denver Nuggets. But then, you know, later you learn that uh, the, Los An or the Denver Nuggets have the player named Nikola Jokic, or Jokic, however you say his name. Let's pull it up here. And this is how fast the internet goes in Iowa, or in the, in the town that I live in, so. Oh, go figure. This is another reason why I don't make videos that often. Constantly. Worst internet of all time. But, look at this. Nikola Jokic. What, what's his nickname? The Joker? Their star player? His name's The Joker. Talk about how it's synced up to the Joker movie. Now they're playing the Los Angeles Lakers in the conference finals. I mean, it is a it is a joke. 
I think about the Los Angeles Lakers too. I, if you go back and look at some of these videos I have, I talked about how Charles Manson is really important to this big narrative. And of course, Charles Manson is famous for killing Sharon Tate, who was the wife of the producer, the film producer, Roman Polanski, who now lives in France because of a sexual or a rape that he supposedly did on a 13-year-old girl, right? 13, prime, 41. And he supposedly did it at Jack Nicholson's house, who was the original Joker in the Tim Burton Batman movies, right? Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, a humongous Los Angeles Laker fan. And Jack Nicholson was supposedly on a Colorado ski trip at the time, right? So he was in Colorado. You know, just think about how this is all interrelated. The Denver Nuggets, star players, the Joker, you know. Even more is, uh, you know, where is it? LeBron James was even in the news for his stuff about Hong Kong. I think that was back here, wasn't it? Well, we'll find it really quick. Great Wall of Colorado. Hong Kong protesters burn LeBron James jersey. Right? And the thing about LeBron James in regards to space, too, he's going to be in the new Space Jam movie. But it was at the Stand with Maury rally, and it was 76 days before LeBron's birthday. Stand with Maury equals 76. Joker equals 76. Houston Rockets equals 76. The film Joker came out 76 days after the anniversary of the Batman shooting in 2012, and it actually premiered on August 31st for the 76th anniversary of some film festival in, like, Venice, right? What are the odds? And Joker equals 76, 76 days after the anniversary of the Batman shooting, and then the story comes 76 days before LeBron James's birthday. Even better, in one of the recent games with the Houston Rockets, when they beat the, or they lost to the Los Angeles Lakers, they put in some player that nobody's ever heard of before. Let me find it here. Well, look at this. They put in this player named Talon Horton Tucker. If it will load. 19-year-old Talon Horton Tucker. And they put him in 76 days before his birthday. You know, that's why he played 76 days before his birthday against the Houston Rockets, right? And, of course, his name equaled 76, just like Houston Rockets. And then he signed with the Lakers on 713, which is the Houston area code. And I've been following a lot with this number 194 like crazy. How it synced up to Charles Manson and Charles Manson equals 194. And Anthony Davis just beat the the Denver Nuggets on the buzzer beater with 2.1 seconds left, right? Was that last night? Lakers equal 21. 2.1 seconds left. Just so happened to be 194 days after Anthony Davis' birthday. Oh, the odds. We also just got the death of, uh, not Rose, but Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Look at her name, 194. What are the odds, you know, but. Also, when Steve Nash, there was a big story about Steve Nash becoming the Brooklyn Nets head coach. And, you know, this is important to Kobe Bryant because Dwight Howard was on the team when Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles. But so was Steve Nash, the former Phoenix Suns player, right? And, you know, Mike D'Antoni was also the coach of the Phoenix Suns for a number of years with Steve Nash and so on. But he signed with the Brooklyn Nets because the Brooklyn Nets are the team that the Los Angeles Lakers played in China during the preseason. The Los Angeles Lakers, if you go back and look, they played two games against the Brooklyn Nets, and they played them in China. It's not even going to load. Just You can look it up for yourself. But, you know, they played the games against... Oh, it's just so stupid. It's all about China, right? It's just all synced up. And if you go back to 2017 when I was talking about the Houston Rockets synced up to a space theme in China, 
It was also important to Isaiah Thomas, who was the former Sacramento king, and his sister named China had died in King County, Washington, and she died in a Toyota Camry that looked just like my girlfriend's car and a number of other things. And then he lost the tooth that looked that was this exact same tooth that my girlfriend had lost earlier in the year. And the word Camry means crown, right? King's crown, King County, the Rockets play in the Toyota Center. It was all synced up to this King narrative. And I'm just pointing this out because Steve Nash and Isaiah Thomas, they just so happened to share the same birthday of February 7th. And the word Stephen also means crown, right? Or Stephen, Stephen, look up the name. It means crown. So the main event of the hour here that I was, I'm just, I'm just wanted to point out all this stuff. It's important to China, you know, the, this whole narrative. It doesn't matter who wins to me because sports are reflective of other events that are going on and other events are reflective to sports. You know, if you pay enough attention and you look at it, you go through and look at all the stats and whatever. I'm sure you can figure out who's going to win every time and so on. You know, it, it's a lot of work, but there's a bigger narrative that I have always followed. And, you know, just kind of like when the when I predicted the Indians to be in the World Series against the Cubs in 2016. Did it like clear back in the beginning of like July because there was this big Native American theme I kept noticing. And then the Indians make the World Series. And right around that same time, the major news stories were the Keystone Pipeline protests, right? Reminding us of the Native Americans. I even talked about how it was in the area that I live in. And, you know, it's not even that far. It's only a couple hours away where the major protests were from where I live. And so on. You know, what are the odds that that would, that would even be, you know? Major stories about Native Americans, why the Native Americans are in the World Series that's going on. But... The Houston Rockets, they actually got eliminated on Yao Ming's birthday. So, and if you go back to my Steve, I talked about this multiple times too, you know. I talked about the Denver Nuggets way back when too. Let's see here. This was from a, a post from like 2017 where I talked about the Denver Nuggets. were also called the Denver Rockets until 1974. And I talked about JaVale McGee. He was, you know, he was a former Denver Nugget, and now he plays for the Los Angeles Lakers with Dwight Howard, and, you know, the Nuggets were involved in the trade that sent Dwight Howard to the Lakers. Kobe returned from his Achilles injury on Dwight Howard's birthday, too, and the annulled trade of Chris Paul was on Kobe Bryant, or on Dwight Howard's birthday as well, the year before which is also the same day that John Glenn had died in 2016. And I talked about, before that, I talked about how there was a major space theme then John Glenn died. And I talked about how it synced up to Eugene Cernan and Neil Armstrong, and then Eugene Cernan died, which is why I thought the Houston Rockets might win in 2017 as well. But then it turned out to be for the Golden State Warriors, who were also synced up because they beat LeBron's Cleveland Cavaliers by 35 points the same day that Eugene Cernan died, and Kevin Durant, you know, the star player, he wore number 35, and Mike Brown was the coach of the of the Golden State Warriors that year for most of the year, and his birthday is like 3-5, I believe. So, and then NASA, and Eagles 35, and China equals 35, so King James 35, so. Just pointing it out, I guess showing all these things, but in my Steve Nash post, I even mentioned, oh, I thought Yao Ming was important. I wondered what was going to happen on Yao Ming's birthday. We'll just type it up in here really quick. Steve Nash. It's, just, it's so important to China. Let's see. I just want to point it out, you know. I wonder what Game 5 of the lakers Rocket series will look like, considering it's on 9-12, which is Yao Ming's birthday. And Yao Ming, his birthday was also synced up to Kobe Bryant, too. Just trying to see. Maybe I put it in this post here. But. Yeah, so the Houston Rockets get knocked out on Yao Ming's birthday, right? This major Chinese narrative. And... 
let's see here. I just had it. Yao Ming equals 157, just like Kobe Bryant. But in Francis Bacon, these really important ciphers I've been talking about for the last couple of years, his name equals 136, and Kobe died 136 days after his birthday on January 26th. If you read out The Dark Knight, it equals 136. And Will Barton's birthday, the Denver Nuggets player who I talked about was synced up, his birthday was 136 days before Kobe's birthday. Or maybe it's after Kobe's birthday, but yeah. You know. The Dark Knight, Will Barton, Yao Ming. China also equals 126 in the Francis Bacon ciphers. Think about Kobe dying on 126. The very beginning of the video, I talked about DeMarcus Cousins being important, and that's why Dwight Howard became a Laker. Well, De DeMarcus Cousins tore his Achilles against the Houston Rockets when he was the New Orleans Pelican, right? The team that Anthony Davis used to play for. But he did that on January 26, exactly two years before Kobe Bryant supposedly died. And when he tore his Achilles then, I talked about how it was important to Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant tearing his Achilles because it was against the Houston Rockets. And there's this major narrative with Kobe Bryant and the Houston Rockets and how it syncs up to his Achilles tear. So then I also, you know, after the, the Nuggets won game six, I started really wondering if the Nuggets were actually going to upset the Clippers and go on to play the Los Angeles Lakers just before the fact that you know, they were synced up to the same narrative. They also used to be called the Rockets, synced up to the Batman's narrative, synced up to the South Park narrative, synced up to, you know, Joker, and so on. And then they have the player named the Joker. But it's interesting. The Clippers lost in game six with 98 points, too. And Clippers equal 98, and Rockets equal 98. And... The NBA Finals equals 111. The Lakers' first game in China against the Nets this year, the Nets scored 100, or one of the teams scored 111, the other team scored 114, and LeBron James equals 114. But Will Barton played 58 games this year. He's not with the Nuggets during the playoffs. Think about it, Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Also mentioned Dikembe Mutombo, because he played with Yao Ming in Houston, and he's also known for playing for the Denver Nuggets. So maybe there's something related to Dikembe. But I think it was the same day, the same day that the Nuggets won Game Six. There was a story about this, the Sacramento Kings interviewing the Denver Nuggets Calvin Booth for the general manager position. And I went and looked up Calvin Booth, and I'm thinking Sacramento Kings of all teams, right? This King narrative that's important to it. And when you go to Wikipedia, Calvin Booth's picture is him guarding Yao Ming, of all people, right? Guarding Yao Ming. He's born in the year 76, like how Houston Rockets equals 76, and Joker equals 76, so... Yao Ming also retired on the date of 720, which was one year exactly before the Batman shooting. It's also the anniversary of the moon landing. Daryl Morey equals 136. Just like the new movie that's coming out is called The Batman. The Batman equals 136. That's why I, I believe it was the same day that Steve Nash became the coach of the Nets. Robert Pattinson, the supposedly, you know, the guy who's going to be the new Batman, he supposedly got coronavirus, so they had to delay the movie. And, you know what? I just had an epiphany, and it's not going to make sense to this video, but I just, oh man, hold on. Wow, I just recently documented about how the band Nirvana is important to this big n narrative with Rose that I was following. I was going to make a separate video and I probably hopefully will make a separate video later but it's really important to the band Nirvana and if you watch the trailer to the new Batman they actually use the song Something's in the Way by Nirvana from on the album Nevermind wow huh 
Dang it. I'm going to have to remember that now. I'll have to go back and look at that again. Look at that trailer. There's a, there's a humongous theme with this of Rose and how it syncs up. And it's also synced up with the NBA with, you know, and it, it's too much to handle in this video, I feel like, because it's just, there's so much to talk about. But right before LeBron James got injured in last year or whatever, I talked about this, there was a Rose theme. Axel Rose was in the media, and Derek Rose had just scored like 50 points in a game. And he played for the Timberwolves. And in 2015, there was this humongous narrative with Love and Valentine's and Space Jam. And Zach Levine, the Chicago Bulls player, he did the Space Jam dunk to win the Slam Dunk Contest on Valentine's Day. The same day that Denzel Valentine hit the game winner for Michigan State. And now Denzel Valentine wears number 45, like Michael Jordan's number. And, you know, Valentine's is the 45th day of the year. Him and Zach Levine, sounds like loving, right? They both play for the Chicago Bulls right now. And, you know, there's there's a big narrative with it. And synced up to Michael Jordan and Space Jam and so on. I don't want to get too far off topic. But Derek Rose was important to that. Derek Rose, the former Chicago Bull. And that same year, Pete Rose was in the media. So... There's something important to it, but Derrick Rose, just before LeBron James got injured, Derrick Rose scored 50 points or something. And then Zach Levine had did something that only Bob Love and Michael Jordan had did for the Chicago Bulls. Like he scored so many points in consecutive, three consecutive games or something like that. And there was this just major narrative synced up to these that Axel Rose was in the media. And then the Portland Trailblazers played the Minnesota Timberwolves when the Minnesota Timberwolves unveiled this new Prince-inspired jersey. And, you know, LeBron James was Prince in 2016 for Halloween, and Kevin Love was Jackie Moon. And then Prince later on, later died, or he died in 2016. LeBron, they were that in 2015 Halloween. But Portland is the city of roses, right? And Portland is also R.I.P. City. And they're the team that the Lakers played after Kobe Bryant died. And then they just knocked him out of the playoffs before they played the Houston Rockets. And then, you know, you got the the riots in Portland or whatever, the protests in Portland. And then we just had that protest in, or that, what was it, the major story that happened in whatever that place is in Pennsylvania. I don't even know. I don't want to sit here and look anymore, but. We just had that shooting or whatever it was. I can't even remember now, but the the town is actually called Rose City or something like that. So there's something super important to a Rose theme. And sorry, I'm getting off topic here, but I'm, it, it just came to my brain that the new Batman does that. They use the Nirvana song, you know. And then you also had Post Malone, who did the Nirvana tribute earlier this year and Post Malone invented his new, his own wine called French Rosé. It's actually called Mason number no. nine. We talk about a lot about Freemasonry and stuff, you know, but he bases it off of his, he actually got the name from his favorite tarot card, right? Think about it. Why would he do that? The nine of swords, his favorite tarot card, you know, it's because these people, these stars, they, have a good understanding of this knowledge. I, there's no doubt in my mind, you know, so. But anyway, let's go back to this China stuff. I'll, like I said, hopefully I'll make another video with that. But, huh, it's super, it just, sorry, mind blowing me. Nirvana. I don't even know, man. How is Nirvana connected to China, maybe? I, I wonder if Nirvana is connected to China. This is how my brain works. This is how I figure out these narratives, right? You, you know, you know that there's two like major themes, and there's got to be something important to Nirvana and whatever. What's Nirvana seventy nine, and you know, so is the word suicide. Suicide, like how Kurt Cobain. Well, suicide's thirty four, like Nirvana. But Courtney Love, you know, there's the 
conspiracy theories that she supposedly murdered him, right? Her birthday's 7-9, which is three months and four days after Kurt Cobain died. So, absolutely synced up. You know, 34-79, supposedly committed suicide. Courtney Love, born on 7-9. Francis Bean Cobain. Huh. Whatever. Let's go back to this. So, you know, the Rockets eliminated on Yao Ming's birthday. The Denver Nuggets also synced up to China. We even have the story about the, the closure of the Chinese consulate in Houston earlier this summer. In July, you know, there, there's a major narrative going on with China and how it's synced up. I also even mentioned how Iowa was synced up because of this major thing with the band Slipknot playing their first show at the Iowa State Fair last year. And that was synced up to Charles Manson as well. But Donald Trump... Before he became the president, he said that he was Batman in a helicopter at the Iowa State Fair. Think about Kobe Bryant dying in a helicopter. Donald Trump saying he was Batman. He did that on Ben Affleck's birthday. And Ben Affleck just so happened to be the next Batman movie. The next Batman movie that came out after Donald Trump did that, it starred Ben Affleck as Batman. And he said that on Ben Affleck's birthday. You know? So... That's August 15th, I believe, which is also the Jesuit, the day the Jesuits were founded. It's also Napoleon's birthday and the, you know, the Jesuits were founded in France, the Illuminati connected to France, Scottish Rite Freemasonry has its, you know, it goes back to France. There's a humongous narrative with France that I have followed over the years as well. And so... I think in the last video I even talked about how, you know, this Rose theme, it's synced up to Axl Rose and Guns N' Roses, and the last album that Guns N' Roses put out is even called Chinese Democracy. So, <laughs> oh man. Let me find where I was going with this, though. There's more China stuff here. There's been all kinds of China stories in the news, too. China... Important to India, and if you go back to September of last year, I was talking about how Donald Trump praised the Indian Prime Minister in Houston for having their first ever NBA games played that year. And it was like the Indiana Pacers, right? The land of the Indian, where Mike Pence is from. And Mike Pence shares the birthday with Prince, the singer, right? And that was the same year that when Prince died on, the, on Queen Elizabeth's birthday, and they... You know, made Niagara Falls purple that same day and whatever. But then the Indians went on to be in the World Series. That was part of where the whole narrative with the Native American theme started because the Indianapolis owner, Colts owner, Jim Ursay, he bought Prince's Yellow Cloud guitar. And the town that I live in, there was a, the, the last keeper of a sacred pole of the Omaha Indians got murdered here and his name was chief yellow smoke and it reminded me of yellow cloud and then a bunch of other stuff connected to brandon scherf the washington redskin who is from denison iowa that has yellow smoke national or yellow smoke park and you know one of his old another iowa hawkeye football player he died in vale arizona and yellow smoke was between where Brandon Scherf is from, Denison, Iowa, and Vail, Iowa, and it was synced up to Brandon Scherf, but I guess I just want to point out the connection to China and these things going on with India. It's also synced up to the Dalai Lama. I also got off topic here with, with the whole Iowa thing, but you know, Iowa, Iowa is important because the former governor of Iowa was Terry Branstad, but he stepped down to become the ambassador to China, right? And I mentioned all of this in previous videos, tons of them, and whatever, I blogged about this all last summer, 
I even talked about why the Washington Nationals were important to the World Series last year because it was synced up to the fair symbolism and the, the World's Fair was being held in China last year. And, you know, the Washington Nationals used to be the Montreal Expos and the Expo is a fair. And, what was it? Tyler Skaggs died reminding us of the movie Angels in the Outfield that came out in 94. And in 94, the Montreal Expos had the best record in the major leagues before the MLB strike that was also synced up to Michael Jordan. But, anyway, Terry Branstad, the former Iowa governor who became the ambassador to China, he just so happened to step down, right? Now he's not, he's not going to be the ambassador to China. Just a few days after the Houston Rockets get eliminated on Yao Ming's birthday, what are the odds? It was 91 days after and 9 months and 1 day before the Chinese president's birthday. And space equals 91, rockets 91, Apollo 91. The space race came to an end in the year 91. There was another story about the USC professor saying the N-word in Chinese or something. It sounded like the N-word in Chinese, and he was under some flack for it. Absolutely synced up. You also got TikTok, right? TikTok is important to China. We had the story about TikTok partnering with Oracle instead of Microsoft. Donald Trump signed the executive order about TikTok on August 6th, this important day that I talked about in the last couple videos or whatever, August 6th of the, the Tiger year, 2022, will be really important because Tisha Bob falls on that day. But they had until November 12th, which is Charles Manson's birthday, which is also the day that Disney Plus launched, which is also Russell Westbrook's birthday, right? Think about Disney Plus. Think about how the NBA Finals or the NBA Bubbles in Orlando, Disney. We just had the, the new Mulan movie come out too. The new Mulan movie. Notice who, where the star of this movie is. I don't, who knows how to pronounce her name, but notice she's from Wuhan, China, of all places. Wuhan, where coronavirus supposedly began. Like, <laughs> What a joke, you know, Mulan. I haven't even watched that movie in years. I can't even can't even tell you what it's about. But I know it involves Chinese martial arts and stuff, so or Chinese. So man. There it's something very important to China. Two thousand seventeen, the, the major year I was talking about with the space theme and the Houston Rockets. A lot of that stuff was leading up to the Vegas attack, right? The Vegas attack that happened on October 1st. October 1st just so happens to be China's national day, you know? So, like, we have July 4th. China has October 1st, 10 1. Hmm. So also last night, I documented about when Anthony Davis made that game winner. If you looked at the stories here, one of the main stories was that Ty Lawson was dropped by Chinese, whatever it says, I won't load it here, but he's basically dropped by the Chinese Basketball League because he posted some pictures on Instagram of him at a Chinese strip club and he wrote something about Chinese women, so China banned him from their Chinese basketball league where he's been playing forever. But, you know, the Denver Nuggets get, you know, lose game two to this buzzer beater. And then there's also a story about Ty Lawson. Ty Lawson is mostly known for playing for the Denver Nuggets, right? And, you know, mostly known for playing for the Denver Nuggets. He was traded to Houston. He played for Houston as well. He was traded there on the date of 7-20, the anniversary of the moon landing, the anniversary of the Batman shooting. Batman also equals 51. Moon equals 51. It's the 51st anniversary. Batman 51. His birthday is November 3rd. 
which is the same day as Colin Kaepernick's birthday, which is the same day as the election, which is why Charles Manson is important. And, you know, because it's all about black people kneeling and not rising up and Charles Manson's helter-skelter theory about black people rising up. We've been talking about this for years, but Colin Kaepernick's 33rd birthday just so happens to be on the election day, which is also Roseanne's birthday. And Roseanne's been important to this big narrative. Remember, Roseanne got kicked off or whatever for her racist tweets. And the final episode that aired was called Knee Deep, of all things to call it, Knee Deep. And it was the 231st episode, and National Anthem equals 231. And Roseanne, also known for singing the terrible National Anthem at the baseball game. Can't even remember it all. It was synced up big time to kneeling and whatever else. So... I don't even know if I looked up Ty Lawson and Gematria last night. I fell asleep while I was writing up that blog post. Ty Lawson equals 42 like Lakers. So that story comes on the buzzer beater with 2.1 seconds left. Lakers, forget LeBron James equals 42. Also, you know, the super N-word equals 42. It's this humongous number. That's, you know, I could just go on countless things. You know, like Rosa Parks is 42 when she supposedly rode the bus. And bus equals 42 and so on. But I'm not going to go on that tirade. But, you know, Houston Rockets too. Houston Rockets equals 76 and 59. Just like the word Negro and slave and so on. So... Something super important, though. It's synced up to China. I think I'm going to leave it there. And then hopefully I'm going to go back and try to organize some more stuff and point out this rose symbolism. It's, there's something very important to how it syncs up to Charles Manson and a number of other things. But I guess I just wanted to make this video to kind of follow up and kind of summarize some of the stuff that I've been talking about for a very long time. And... It doesn't matter who wins to me, because regardless, the narrative is here. And the narrative is synced up for something a lot more important in my mind, you know what I mean? Hopefully it's not a war or anything of the sort, but, you know, there's some interesting things that Zenith pointed out with, with, um, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Axel Rose and his real initials are W-A-R, War. Maybe it won't even be with us. Maybe there'll be a war with India and China or something weird like that, you know. But there's something, you know, there's there's more to learn. There's there's big narratives, and sometimes I don't know the full meaning. Sometimes you have to have a little patience, and I'm not going to go on a tangent here, but I had some crazy synchronicity with the song Patience by Guns N' Roses, and I know that sometimes you just have to be patient with this, and it all makes sense, but I'll leave it there. If I remember some things that I forgot, uh, maybe I'll put them in a little note when I make the video, but whatever. Have a good one. Peace.